Brief DVM is coming at you today with a project we did this fall called the Stump 2 Deer Stand that we added to the property. This is a nice all-weather tight deer stand that we wanted for um, hunting late into the winter if we needed to. Um, you can buy these um, from local vendors including Cabela's and you put your own wood base on the bottom of it. Uh, they don't really give you directions on how to do it so we did ours for about $60 and you know it's it's not too tough to do if you just you know can find some lumber at a decent price. We decided to add a stairs to ours, uh, bought a couple pre-made runners and uh, a 2x12 and cut it up. You know, we're going to add a railing to it once we get out there. You know, I think total cost on a set of stairs like that is about 40 bucks. You know, of course, we took the tractor on a rainy fall day and, you know, ran the stuff all out to where we want to hunt, which is at the top of the hill here behind some of our barns. Gives us a really good vantage point um, when... Uh, deer come walking by the edge of the barns and also gives us some long distance rifle shots. The legs went on pretty easy, um, just basically a packet of deck screws, a couple 2x4s and the circular saw to cut it up and then you know it's it's not too tough to lift this bad boy up especially if you have a, a lift of some sort. In this case we put forks on the tractor, uh, the whole thing weighs about maybe 300 pounds by the time we got said and done and then uh, we hauled it out to the field and put it up. It's definitely a day project I would say uh, total cost on this beast is probably around 1300 bucks for us. But this is a long-term investment deer stand. This is not a wood one that's going to fall apart, uh, you know, in, in 10 to 15 years. It's not going to rot. It's got green treat root on it, which is going to help. It's completely sealed, which is probably the best thing about this beast. Um, you know, there are no seams on it to fail you. It's, it's all one piece of, of, of molded plastic, which is excellent. Um, where we're going to stick it's a little brushy, so we'll get that cleaned up here in the next um, few shots. You'll see how we fix that up. We did decide to anchor it down in case we get some strong winds. Winds up here can sometimes reach 40, 50 miles an hour in the winter, and you know when it blows like that, a big object like this that's kind of light on the top could tip over. And then, of course, we added a railing for safety, because in the summer months, this thing will probably turn into a, a kid's playhouse. Um, the dimensions on it I'll post here. Um, hopefully that kind of helps. This is a, a two-person one. Um, you know, that, that gives me the advantage of when my kids want to come with me, they certainly can. It's got um, uh, four vertical windows, which are great for more bow hunting, and then uh, two horizontal wide windows, which are great for more rifle-style shooting. It's um, it's very nice. I, I like it a lot. Um, you know, this will be our first season not hunting on a stand that's open-faced out in the air which gives you tons of visibility, I get that, but uh, we also won't be hindered by the weather, which will be a nice thing for once. Um, this will be probably the only one we'll have on the place. All the other stands will be open-air stands, but um, it, it's worth it, I think, to at least have one of these on your property. So this will allow us, hopefully, some really good hunting. I'll take you inside here, and I'll show you some of the interior views of it. Um, we did clean up the um, outside area just so there'd be no brush in the way, no small sticks. This is the one of the upright windows facing the farm. This is that wide front view window when you look out at facing the farm. A lot of room for shooting. There's a lot of space. So I'm sitting on one side of it, and I'm just kind of showing the space inside here. And then this will be how it sits on the property come fall for hunting, and we certainly hope to have a good hunt. You know, thanks for watching, folks. It's a good stand, uh, you know, if you're considering one. Certainly consider one that will never leak, uh, the Stump 2. Thanks.